Okay, I am at Costco and I'm looking, looking, looking. I need a new front door wreath. And this seems to be all they have to offer, which is fine. They're both pretty. Although, <laughs> generally I tend to go for the autumn colors, but this is just gross, I think. I, I like the softness of the pumpkin, but, and look at that. I mean, that's just so ugly to me, to me. So the one right next door, I think it's much more lovely. And I have to have plastic. Everything has to be plastic uh, because I don't have a covered door. So uh, any of those bead things that you find on wreaths that have, you know, you push a little, if you push them hard, you're like styrofoam. <clears throat> they don't last long, whether they're in water or not. But all right, thumbs up if you like the orange autumn one or thumbs let's see how can we do this just say orange thumbs up or down um cream thumbs up or down i'm just curious i'm so curious to see uh which way the wind is blowing here but i'll show you my cart if if you want to know ahead of time what interests or piques my eye and it's that one right there i think it's lovely and I think it'll go real pretty. And of course, I'll have fresh pumpkins out on my front porch as well. All right, let's keep going. All right, right next door to the wreaths are these beautiful, beautiful um, pillows. You know, we have that new, we have bought new furniture in our little sitting room, sitting room, you know, that's right off our kitchen. And I always need um, new pillows, because I like pillows. And these are really pretty, I like them. I love the long, narrow pillow. I guess that's a lumbar pillow, something like that, I guess you call them. But these are lovely, all of them. Oh, there's a little truck. I know so many of you love, love, love the truck. And he's really cute. And they are uh, $9.99. So I would have to say my favorite right off, my eye, goes to this together. Uh, I like the plaid on the back of the truck though. That is real cute. Um, but I think that one's pretty. I do. I like simple. I like simple. I like natural looking. That's why I didn't go for the orange on that other wreath. Just couldn't do it. All right, I think I'm, I'm going to pass on the pillows here, but they are here guys for $9.99 if you need them. And let me just show you this. If you are in the market for, um, Halloween costumes, look at these. I mean, they are everywhere. Look at the little firemen. Oh, my grandson would love that. Oh, Everett. I don't know. Let's see, what are they, $24.99? See, he would like them just to play with. And the hatchet, oh my, I don't know. <laughs> that might be asking for trouble. Okay, and right as you come around the corner, you have some of the prettiest little girl things. Look at the colors of this little mermaid. Oh, that is so adorable. Look, the little beading on the top, just beautiful. You know, they'll get more than one day uh, out of that, playing around, having a good time. Is it this a little, a little princess? It's so precious. All right, it's interesting. This is the six quart KitchenAid lift uh, mixer. I think they're just beautiful. I really do. Right now, this stainless color um, is very, very popular as long as this, um, like fire truck red. Yeah, I think they're both very nice. Here's, here's the red up here. The red really stand out in the kitchen. The bowl is pretty. I've always wanted to see how big that really is compared to the little dinky one I have. You all know mine. And there's the big old, uh, whipper there and there's the there's the uh, kneading utensil which they say I don't think you're supposed to put those this and any of the and this one into the washer this I do not trust I went right ahead and bought stainless steel for mine at home and I would do the same here if I were to buy this let's see what this is $79.99 all right they also have the ninja I own a ninja as well and I have to say I love my Ninja and it's an old one. 
This looks really, really nice. And that is what, $69.99? You can't beat that. Right next door is a pressure cooker, guys. I don't own a pressure cooker. Not even sure that I want one. They scare me. And I know that's silly enough for a lot of people say the same thing. Then they get one and they absolutely love it. So I don't know. See, I just baked one of those in my oven old fashioned way the other night and it was so so good ever thought of getting an electric kettle a glass electric kettle let's see that is $39.99 that's pretty doggone nice I like that but I don't need hot water you know like instantly right away I just it's like I never do so for me that would not be a good buy but for you if you're a teetotaler um or you like instant coffee, things like that, that would be perfect. And they're right next to the thermal mug right there, which is $16.99. All right, the very, very popular OXO. You have a nine piece pop container set. And I guess that would be this right up here, all different sizes. I don't know, do I want one? I'm here for me today, guys, <laughs> in case you haven't. Um, Notice, okay, so you just put it right, put it right on there, let's get it straight, pop it, and that's supposed to make it airtight. It's supposed to. Hmm, well, they seem pretty, pretty popular. So yeah, instead of $59.99, you get a instant savings of $47.99. I like that. All right, here's a $15.99, you get an eight piece. That's, you know, the bowl and the top, of course, is counted as one of the pieces. So it's four bowls with four matching lids, or four lids, I don't know if they match, they coordinate with, okay? And those are $15.99. Those are really nice. I like that, that they are glass, not plastic. Okay, I think these are really sweet. Each one has an encouraging message on it. They come in a beautiful little box. They make a lovely gift. Your dishwasher safe, microwave safe, $12.99. And those would be what my husband would call ice cream bowls. <laughs> we don't really have any really good, um, like cereal bowls, but that's okay. Space wise, you know, I have a very small kitchen. Um, we can do without. And then right next door, if you like more of this crock, um, crock look, more, more earth tony looks, I love this color right here. I think that's really pretty. Um, these are beautiful too for $14.99, nice little handles. Those would be great for ice cream or cereal or soups or stews or whatever you want to put in there. All right, and here's something very similar, um, much bigger. <laughs> no, Lou, you cannot have ice cream in here. Okay, ooh, and look, it's gonna get a little lid on it if you wanna keep something hot in there. Very good, I think all three of them had lids too. Those could also be um, sweet little plates, like soup and, soup and salad. I think that would be pretty nice. Okay. All right, if you need some cookware, we have some hard anodized cookware here. And this is the Kirkland Signature brand and hard anodized. This is beautiful. I love that this has the um, little pour spout on it. Very, very nice comes with two size uh, frying pans. It's perfect for eggs in the morning. It's got a great big stock pot, pot, stock pot bag there and a fryer right here. It's beautiful, just beautiful. And that is 119. I like that very, very much. Right next door for 199 is your Circulon Premier. Yeah, I've got all the pots and all the pans that, that I need personally. Okay, I'm going to be really mean now to all of us who are trying to count our carbs <laughs> or watch things. Would you look at this stuff? No, actually, those of you who'd rather not watch, just cover your eyes with this part. Oh, I wish I could cover my eyes right now, but I can't. All right, you don't even want to know what I'd be looking at right now. If I close my eyes, if Costco, never know. Oh look, happy birthday. Now see, those are pretty. That To me, that is a little nicer than your average um, birthday cake. And it's so nice to slice. You know, you just simply slice it down like that and you're done. And you don't have some big, huge amount of cake left. 
good grief, sometimes they're so, so big. Look at that, American flag, I like that. I buy that just because, but then I'd eat it too. So, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to pass. All right, you can open your eyes now. Okay, I decided to come and check the beef section out. All right, so, um, hmm, let's see here. My eyes are, my glasses are fogging up for being in the fresh produce. You want some um, beef New York steak? Well, why not? Aren't they beautiful? They're nice and thick. Guys, check out the price. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, look at this one right next door. Little boneless uh, ribeye. Look at that price. You ready to pay that? Well, better start saving your money. This is outrageous. Unbelievable. Alright, this this is interesting. Chicken street tacos. Alright, for $14.22 you get these um, you get the tortillas, chicken, all the stuff that you need, you get the sauces and the lime. I think frankly it's kind of high, but I think for what it is, I think it would be fun. You'd have to have a couple of them if you were having a big family over or a party of any kind. But yeah, I put a check on that. That looks pretty darn good. In fact, do I want to take that home? Oh, help me. Oh, help me. I wish you guys were here right now. <laughs> All right, that is $14.22. Cute as could be. Chicken cilantro lime creme. I don't know. I'm going to think on that. That's a possibility just for something fun and new. You know, I like getting fun and new. All right. I'm not exactly sure what's going on here at Costco. They do have toilet paper, but they don't have the Kirkland brand toilet paper. And they don't have a whole lot. I mean, there's a lot of people strolling down here. There's paper towels. Sorry about the mask. Boy, am I sorry about it. <laughs> and let's see. What is this for toilet paper? Uh, Charmin is $22.99. I know the Kirkland brand is a whole lot less than that. But if you need it, you need it. Yeah. All right, here's a really nice uh, snack for you. For $9.88, look at that. You get some shredded squid. Okay, I'm sorry, but my stomach is turning right now just even thinking about it. Look, the lone roll of toilet paper in the wrong aisle. Somebody figured it out halfway through. Figured, you know what? That's just too dang expensive. All right, now this really isn't too bad right here. This ground sirloin and loin of beef patties. Um, we used to get these all the time. They started going up and up and up. And um, let's see, they were $14.79. You get an instant savings on there for $10.99. Um, what's the total poundage? 3.17 pounds. But, so I'd say that's a really good deal, I guess. I might be bringing some of that home. And finally, finally home for my shopping excursion today. I ended up going to Costco and then I did uh, on the way home because I needed a few things, believe it or not, that Costco didn't have um, or that I didn't find probably more like it um, at Aldi. I did not shop, I did not show you anything at Aldi, um, but and I didn't get much, but I'm just going to do a quick, quick haul for you. Uh, just real, real quick. I did get that sweet little uh, mat to put on the front door I thought that would go nice with my wreath um, yeah I don't get fancy schmancy out there or anything I don't do ghosts and goblins um, I just make it fall so I will as soon as Aldi gets in their pumpkins I'll do pumpkins and I will um, take what's out of my my planters in front and put some pretty mums in that's what I do every year and that's what I'll do this year too so there's my new little mat and I really did need one. I don't buy them just to buy them, but I really did need one. So that was uh, Aldi. This ground beef here, you saw me looking at that. Yes, and I wish some of that was on the grill right now because I'm starving. But uh, yeah, that was it, uh, Costco. And I think that was a really good buy. 
and I, I know that's going to be really, really good beef. I also bought a salad spinner, you guys. I always wanted a salad spinner. You know, I don't know why, but, um, <laughs> yeah, my husband kind of always kind of wanted one too, so it's kind of for both of us. And wouldn't you know, I did not get salad. I did not get um, lettuce at Costco. I just figured, oh, Aldi will have lettuce. You know, they always have lettuce. Well, guess what? They didn't have lettuce at, at Aldi. So, poo. I'll have to go back. I don't know. I got some of those nice Kaiser buns that I thought would go really nice with the burgers. They're big size burgers. My gracious. I'm looking at them. I'm starving. <laughs> I got a bag of sugar because I needed a little bit of sugar. Every bag was leaking. Every single bag. So, this one was not. So, I got lucky. We love this salsa with the pineapple in it. It's just so good. English muffins over there. I gotta have those every morning, just about. We got some milk. Um, I did finally find some 100% juice that I like to make my little drink with. Um, water and water and juice, and then a um, you know like a monk fruit sweetener. So I finally found those. Uh, I got some mayonnaise here. I like Aldi mayonnaise. I know some people are sticklers for their mayo, but. I got no problem with it. None at all. Okay, I did get some pepperoni. Oh, no, I'm just noticing now I got the turkey. Here, you guys want it? Somebody out there want this? Because I don't want it. That's going back. <laughs> Big mistake. All right. Um, last time I got that other little, um, little dry rub, uh, and I showed you that. It was a new item that I got, and we loved it. I put it on my roast chicken. And then I saw this coffee dry rub, and I thought, well, yeah, it's probably got to be good with uh, sweet, sweet with hints of be of a uh, coffee. What's wrong with me? So yeah, I'm gonna give that a try. I'm kind of excited. Um, this was Aldi too. These two little bean mixes. I normally don't buy mixes, uh, you know, pre-mixed stuff, but these two, I'm telling you, they're good. Never had this one before. I will. That's a new. That's a newbie. But this one I get all the time. Yeah, you've seen me do stuff with that. These steak fries I got. Those are Aldi. Um, I'm going to make another one of those lime, key lime, or lime, because I don't have key limes, but lime, uh, summertime, back porch pies, I think I called it. They're so good. And so I'm going to go ahead and make a, another one of those because I do have some lime juice left. And I don't know what else to do with it. So I thought, well, let's make a pie. Okay, I got a couple of rim of tomatoes. I thought those would be nice on a burger. So yeah, we'll just keep that right over there. And also at Costco, they didn't have just the monk fruit that I'm used to buying. They had this urethritol and monk fruit. Now it is eight carbs, I noticed. It is eight grams of carbs. And I don't like that. Um, it's a little high for me and I don't know why. But uh, I'm going to give this a try. I'm just going to give it a try. And we'll see. We'll just see. Okay, I got some half and half because we needed it. And what's back there? Oh, yeah. We got some more sweetened condensed milk because that's going to go with this. This, this, and the lime juice is probably going to be what I need. Okay, I got some vegetable oil. And then over here in the sunshine, look how sweet. My little Everett is going to flip out when he sees he's on his little bed here. Yeah, he's taking over my mom's bedroom. He thinks it's his now. So, I don't know. I may have to get a new comforter and just change it up in there. Because he's here a whole lot more than my mom is. I got a little preschool book for him that we can start uh, working on. And it has a little chart in the back that you can hang up. I don't know what it looks like. I haven't even looked at it yet. I don't know. It's very colorful. But I thought maybe I'd stick it up in that room, too. Funny, that was the homeschool room of my youngest son, too. <laughs> I was trying. And trying is like a capital T there. Trying to homeschool. I didn't do very well. He lasted about, uh, what, half a kindergarten. And then it was like, Joe, you got to go to school, honey. <laughs> it was phonics, okay? It's my fault. I couldn't do phonics. I'll just admit it. All right. <laughs> There's some cut green beans. And I didn't get just a few, guys. I got like a ton of them. I did. I bought like one of those whole big boxes full of them because we eat them all the time. And they're 37 cents a can. You cannot beat that anywhere. 
All right, let's see, what else did I get? I got this great big thing of toilet paper. I did not get this at Costco. This is an Aldi product, and I think that I have gotten this before, and uh, we like it. Thick and soft, sounds good. Septic safe, not that we really care about that, but some of you out there might care. Um, we're not on septic. Oh, and my funnest find, or the thing that I think I like, the thing that was worth going out at all to me is this beautiful wreath. I just hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Let me just set it up here for you so it's not directly in the sun so you can see it. Oh, boo, it's not going to work either. All right, I'll just hold it, but it is in the sun. Anyway, you saw it in the store, so there we go. And I'm going to put that on my front door, and let me just slide right under my arm. And I'm going to put that nice little mat on the floor, um, on the stonework, right as you come in the front door. And when I get that done, I will show you. I promise. It's nothing fancy, guys. But it's just a little something something. There we go. All right. That is it. That is it for me today. And, uh, yeah, I hope uh, that your shopping days are fun. Today, my goal, before I even left my car, was... Um, not the same as last time. Remember last time I decided I was going to pick some new things and come home with them? Well, I guess I did get one or two maybe, but it was not a particular goal to do. But my goal this time was to be kind, to be loving, to be one to talk. And so I did. I picked out people that um, look friendly. And um, yes, they were. everybody was just more than willing to chat and talk and just get things off their heart and my goodness it was it was so wonderful it was really refreshing whether they had a mask on or not and a couple of people actually you know took their mask off to talk which you know doesn't bother me um I had my mask on and then sometimes I'd take it off because it fogs up my glasses and um and then there were some people who I would approach and think well lord you're gonna might have to help me here I'm not sure but they were just as kind just as kind as they could be um, and such precious little children today. It was a good day and I needed a good day because I haven't been feeling really good And so I needed a very good day and that's just what the Lord sent me. Hey, you guys. I love you all Bye-bye and Lord bless